All right, now we're in the next section. Ask Kevin Yee. So this is where I take, uh, I'll, I'll usually prioritize emails first. So if you guys send me an email, I'll answer one of your questions on this weekly hustle. If not, I'll take one of the questions from my weekly stream. So make sure to catch my weekly stream every single Sunday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Sunday, by the way. And maybe your comment will be featured on Ask Kevin Yee, uh, on this weekly hustle segment as well. So today I have a comment by love love one four three how much do you think a private pharmacy owner can make well keep in mind by the way love love one four three one four three three uh ray j i think of that ray j song for some reason that tells you how old i am but anyways um i think an important thing to keep in mind is that i've never owned my own pharmacy so i'm not the best person to talk to or ask when it comes to this sort of stuff i think the but if i were if you were to ask me directly i think the better questions are hey one is it still profitable to open up a pharmacy in 2020 given the landscape of pharmacy how and second question is how scalable is this business model especially with pbms dir fees clawbacks and all that sort of stuff i i think the key to getting better answers is really taking the time to be resourceful look up uh, and ask better questions. So I did a quick research on Reddit, found this one post on Reddit, and I thought the answers were interesting. So I found this OP question, original poster, is opening up a an independent pharmacy still profitable? This person who said, I just found out today that due to a buyout, my chain is closing and I'm gonna be out of a job. I've developed some amazing patient relationships in the last five years and been at my store for 11 years with the company altogether. When I first learned about the buyout, I did a, I did a lot of research in, in, into independent pharmacy ownership, have contracts with accountants, attorneys, designers. The big question is regarding getting a loan to do it. If I did this, is, it pro is this still profitable? I hear horror stories about terrible reimbursements, DIR fees, PBMs, making it all but impossible to open an independent. I feel like if I were going to do it, this would be the time for me personally. But I don't know if the time is right for new independence the way things are in the industry or not. I need to be able to pay my, pay my bills and take care of my family. Um, and I thought the answer to this question was really interesting. Uh, we have this answer. I own and operate an independent. We've been open for almost three years now. I'd be happy to answer any sort of questions you like to PM me. It's tough competing with the chains. Advertising is, is expensive. And contracting with PBMs is kind of a bitch, but it can be done. You can make a living owning your own pharmacy. One of one word of warning, though, is be careful how you set your hours. Most likely, you won't have all the days off at, at for the first 1.5 to 2 years if you do it by yourself. And you'll be taking an initial pay cut. We are open 9 to 6 on weekdays, 9 to 1 on Saturday. I always take crap about not being open longer, especially weekends, but I have a life outside of work. Interesting. This this answer was more interesting um, by Cleo Road. A lot of noise on this page. Yes, you can be profitable, but even very profitable in an independent pharmacy. Not as easy as it used to be, but very realistic. Buying groups, wholesalers will be tripping over themselves to help you get open and get your business. So that's not a worry. Locate as close to a busy chain store as you can. Chances are they're not providing service level that you will be able to. So being able to provide that side note, being able to provide that intimacy for a business will, is your USP. Be prepared to work a lot of hours the first few years. I've been in business for 15 years and don't regret a moment. So really interesting. Um, I think one of the best questions that this person kind of uh, addressed was like, how do you make it happen? It's not if you can, but how can you do it? And uh, I also asked my friend Jenny, still waiting her answer, not sure if she's going to respond to me with that. She's like, I don't know. And so I asked her a follow up question about, hey, how do you like what do you think about opening up a pharmacy based off what you know so far this year? Uh, or what is it? Would you still recommend opening up a pharmacy in 2020? Uh, knowing what you know now. So we'll see what she says based off her answer. TLDR version. Uh, it is. From what everyone is saying, it still is possible to open up a pharmacy. And when you go into any sort of business, there is no set amount you can make. Think about it like this. You can always open up another pharmacy. But the real questions I would ask are, why is opening up a pharmacy important to you? How is starting up a pharmacy going to get you to your goals? 
And do you have the right people, processes, tools, and leadership skills to start and scale pharmacy in 2020? If not, how are you going to fill up those gaps? Uh, and what are those gaps to begin with? I think those are the right questions. Anyways, guys, if you guys, that is the weekly hustle. If you guys have a question that wants to be featured, make sure to subscribe.